What's going on you guys? Proco Taco here with the Proco Taco Show and on today's episode we've got something really really special. We have an entire box of Tim Hortons hockey cards. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You want to watch me open these up? Stay tuned right now on the Proco Taco Show. The Proco Taco Show. Boom! What's going on you guys? Proco Taco here with the Proco Taco Show and on this show we open up trading cards and share that experience with you. And on today's episode, like I mentioned in the intro, 100 packs of Tim Hortons hockey cards, 1920 edition. Let's go ahead and get right into this. I'm just gonna grab a few packs here and we're gonna get straight into this episode. Let's go. All right, pack number one, Rene. We got a game day action of Stamkos and Weber. And um, I've actually built my online set already, so I'll be sharing these codes with you guys on social media. Taves, uh, Red Parallel of Burns and Wheeler. Um, so make sure you follow me on there on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It's at Proco Taco to Chuck. And a clear cut phenoms of Brady to Chuck. Very nice. And Suban base card. And we're actually still yet to pull a franchise duos card. Um, so I'm hoping we pull four in this episode today at least. Quick a gold etchings of Connor McDavid and the Chuck base card. Uh, I believe the franchise duos land one in 24 packs, so we should pull at least four. Uh, Kucherov, a game day action of Taves and Brent Burns base. That is, of course, according to the odds, nothing is guaranteed. All right, Domi base card, a red parallel of Clayton Keller and Debrinket. Something else I'd really like to pull is the Tim Horton short printed red card. It is, it is harder than the others. Speaking of Tim Horton, here's his base card. That's the first one I've pulled so far. And then we got a highly decorated of Quick and Joe Thornton base. And this is, I th honestly, guys, my favorite set to collect, I think, the whole year. Carlson, um, and then we got these uh, memory cards, the All-Star Game in San Jose. Uh, and Malkin. Those replaced the old checklist. The checklist is actually inside the binder this year. So if you purchase one of the binders, you got a checklist there. Or you can always look it up online. Druan, uh, game the action of Besser and Marner base. But uh, me personally, I bought the binder because I'm gonna try and build the set as I do every year. So the checklist is in there, just an FYI for you guys. Gallagher, Carter Hart, Red Parallel, and Forsberg. I'm really loving these Red Parallel cards. They're really, really cool. It's a nice little insert in there. Next up, we got Anderson, a gold etchings of Ovechkin, and Kyle Connor. Flurry, uh, highly decorated of Ovechkin and Cal McCarr. Monahan. Uh, game day action of McKinnon and Pavelski. Besser, a red parallel of Aaron Blad Kuznetsov. Larkin, a clear cut phenoms of Carter Hart. Very nice. And McKinnon base card. Carlson, a franchise duos, very first one, Toronto Maple Leafs, Austin Matthews, and John Tavares. Now that's 
beautiful. The first duos I pull is the Maple Leafs, my favorite squad in the league. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful card. It's gorgeous. Let's put that to the side and McDavid base card. Friggin' nice. Friggin' beautiful. Kreider. A game day action of Tavares and Stahl. And I just love how shiny these base cards are, man. It's a gorgeous set. Chabot, uh, McKinnon, Red Parallel, and Panarin. The bread man himself. Making that bread in New York now. All right, next up we got Bennington, the Stanley Cup champion. Highly decorated of Holtby and Bailey. Holtby also a Stanley Cup champion just the year before Bennington. Lindholm and a gold etchings of Patrick Laine. Hart. Overacting Larson, Laine game day action and white. So we should more than build our base set with this box, 100 packs. Ben, Jack Eichel, Red Parallel, and Couturier. Um, so it'll honestly be up to the uh, the subsets. That's going to be a challenge to build. Pacioretty, uh, Stadium Series Moments card. And Couture. I find that insert a little weird. It kind of looks like an advertisement almost. Tarasenko, uh, highly decorated of Keith and Holtby. So far this year, I haven't got a single pack with three base cards in it. Heiskanen, uh, game day action of Shifley and Rantanen. Last year and the years before, that would happen once in a while. You'd get a pack with three base cards, no insert. I guess maybe that's why they added the red parallels this year. Yossi, Suban, red parallel, and Shifley. Backstrom, and Elias Pedersen, clear cut phenoms. Very nice. That's our third clear cut and um, Patrick Kane base. Awesome, awesome. I'm liking this so far. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Radulov, uh, gold etchings of McKinnon and Marchand. Still got a bunch of packs to go through here, so grab yourself a nice beverage. Jones, Matthews, game day action and price. Maybe even a healthy snack. Kopitar, uh, Larkin, Red Parallel, and Mantha. Notice I said a healthy snack. Okay, go get like some baby carrots or something. Dry Sidle, highly decorated of Malkin and Latang. And no dip, just baby carrots, yo. Eat healthy, let's go. Crosby. A franchise duos, Claude Giroux and Carter Hart. And a base card, sweet. So we're up to two franchise duos so far. That's pretty awesome. I think maybe we've opened up like 25 packs, so that's pretty good odds. Savannah Jad, Game the Action of Crosby and Barkov. Way better than my last episode. Opened up 30 packs, not a single franchise duos. Uh, Skinner, uh, Barzal, Red Parallel, and Lee. And I think we only pulled one clear cut out of 30 packs as well. Kessel, highly decorated of Taves and Bergeron. Carlson. A gold etchings of Price and Hellebuck. Teravinen, game day action of Gaudreau and Drew Doughty. Holing, 
a red parallel of Connor McDavid and Horvat. Stone, uh, China Games insert, and Hishir. Keller, highly decorated of Price and Getzlaff. I'm gonna have to clear some room on my desk here soon. Holy smokes. Reinhardt, a game day action of Ovi and Dubnik. O'Reilly, Drew Doughty, Red Parallel, and Matthews base card. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground, looking like a cool cat with your pants on the ground. Stamkos, a clear cut phenoms of Jack Eichel and Huberto. If you ask me, the whole Matthews incident, just a bit silly. I think it's, it's just cause it's Matthews. Aho. Uh, gold etchings of Crosby and Quinn Hughes. If you think about it, if it was me or you walking around with our pants on the ground, would we be on the news? Dubois, uh, McDavid, Game Day Action, and Lundquist. Would we be disturbing the peace? Or would somebody just get a good laugh out of it? And that would be it. Pasternak, Goudreau, Red Border Parallel, or Red Parallel, and Strom. Um, but yeah, that's that's the media for you. That's people when they recognize, I guess, celebrities trying to get something out of it. I believe um, Gibson, highly decorated of Stamkos and Pedersen. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not going to comment anymore on that situation. I'm just going to watch and enjoy the hockey season. Zadina. Uh, global series, so I don't think I have this one yet. And Nugent Hopkins. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the hockey season and enjoy the rest of this break here. We're about halfway, you guys. Sagan, uh, Thomas Chabot, game day action, and Riley, base card. Darlene. A red parallel of Bergeron and Antanasio. Hall, uh, Goudreau, Gold Etchings, and Landis Cog. I'm just going to move this stack of base cards here, you guys. I'm going to put it over here off screen so we have space for the rest of them. Gensel. Uh, gold etchings of Pedersen and Giroux. Voracek, Price Game Day Action and Hedman, base card. Tavares, a red parallel of Ben and Ekblad. I'm loving these red parallels. I really want to get the Tim Horton one out of the way. It's a short printed compared to the other ones. Giordano. And here's the Winter Classic insert. Don't have this one either. Keith. Brazilevsky, uh, highly decorated of Crosby and Parise. I've noticed that those event ones aren't as frequent as the checklists were in previous years. I guess that's because they added the red border parallels now instead, so you don't get so many doubles. Pretty good move on Upper Deck's behalf. Palmieri, highly decorated of Connor McDavid and Ovechkin. And it also satisfies the collector because it was ridiculous how many of those you'd get. Like, if you bought a box, like half of them would be those checklists as inserts. Kregi, uh game the action of Pedersen and Point. It was, I think, two years ago I opened up a box of this set as well. The year before, I didn't have a chance to because they sold out really quick last year. Eichel, Kalmakar, Red, Parallel, and Line. So I think we're past halfway right now. Barzal, 
and a clear cut phenoms of Patrick Line. Atkinson base. I think that puts us at five clear cuts so far. Two franchise duos. Flurry, highly decorated of Doughty and McCarr. Monahan game day action of McKinnon and Pavelski. Besser, Elias Patterson, Red Parallel, and Kuznetsov. Larkin, and a clear cut phenoms of Miro Heiskinen, McKinnon. Those clear cuts got a nice, like, sparkle to them. Carlson, a gold etchings of Stamkos and McDavid. Kreider, game day action Tavares and Stahl. Chabot, a red parallel of Sidney Crosby and Panarin. Pretty sure we've pulled that card already. Bennington, uh, highly decorated of Chara and Bailey. Lindholm, uh, China Games insert and Hart. Ekman Larson, game day action of Line and White. Pacioretty, gold etchings of Kane and Couture. Pulling red parallel of Matthews, freaking nice, and Horvat. Carlson, uh, Stadium Series insert, and Hellebuck. Come on, two more franchise duels. Tarasenko, highly decorated of Kopitar and Holtby. Castle, highly decorated of Keith and Bergeron. Kessel, of course, moving to the Coyotes. Skinner, uh, red parallel of Getzlaff and Lee. Yes, Skinner. Sebastian Aho. Franchise duos! Jack Eichel and Rasmus Dahlin. Oh, yeah. Did these move? They kind of move. They're a little bit like the triple exposures last year. Very nice. And Quinn Hughes base. Should be expecting one more duels in there. Stamkos. A hey, clear cut phenoms of Ransonen. And Huberto. Um, and the franchise duels, I believe they expanded that subset to 18 cards versus all previous years were 12. O'Reilly, Red Parallel of Taves, and Matthews. So they, they kind of changed up the configuration quite a bit this year. I mean, last year they added another 20 base cards. This year they added Red Parallels, more franchise duels. Say again, uh, Game of the Action of Chabot and Riley. Um, so it, it's really cool to see how they kind of, they're improving the set and changing it over the years. Zadina, uh, McKinnon, Gold Etchings, and Nugent Hopkins. And this is, of course, actually the fifth year that they've done this set, believe it or not. Dalin, uh, Red, uh, Parallel of Stamkos, and Antianisio. I remember the first year, they didn't even have a binder for it. They only came out with the binders in the second year. Uh, Gibson, highly decorated of Kane and Pedersen. Yeah, 15, 16 was the first year they did this set. Hall, a global series 
insert. I don't think I have this one yet. Bonus cloud. So those are actually pretty rare to pull now. Like that's that's actually so different. Um, Pasternak, Red Parallel of Lundquist and Strom. Basically, I like to think all those red parallels we're getting would probably be one of those moment inserts if they had not added the red parallels this year. Uh, Pierre Luc Dubois, Game to Action, McDavid, and Lundquist. Getting hard to see those packs in the box. There's still a few in there. Almost done with this break here, you guys. Uh, Reinhardt, Game to Action of Ovi and Dubnik. And um, I'll actually do a nice insert recap for you guys at the end of the break. Keller, highly decorated of Malkin and gets lab. Um, also so we can kind of calculate how many of each insert we got. Stone, uh, gold etchings of Line and Hishier. You know, since we are opening up 100 packs, might as well check out, uh, check out what you get if you buy a box, more or less. Teravinen. Game the action, Goudreau and Drew Doughty. Come on, pack. Work with me. <laughs> Trying not to mangle these cards while getting them out of this pack. Okay. His Banajad, game the action of Crosby and Barkov. And Crosby got his number retired league wide in the juniors in the league he used to play for, which is pretty crazy. Crosby, gold etchings of Gaudreau and Gaudreau. Makes you wonder, you think they'll retire his number league wide in the NHL once he retires from that? Like, that would be pretty huge. Only Gretzky's got that accomplished. Uh, Dreisaitl, highly decorated of Jumbo Joe, Big Joe, Joe Thornton, and Letang. Kopitar, a red parallel of Stahl, Eric Stahl that is, and Mantha. About six or seven packs left. Jones, uh, game day action of Matthews and Price. Radulov, franchise duos of Chamas Tabot and Brady Tuchuk. <laughs> Our fourth one, as I was expecting, and Marchand, based on the odds, right? We can still pull a fifth, who knows? Backstrom, uh, clear cut phenoms of Dylan Larkin and Kaner. Yossi, red parallel of Flurry and Shifley. And we've actually got two packs left here, you guys. Second last pack right now. Ben, a red parallel of Bennington, Couture, and last pack. Let's hope for some last pack magic. We've got Heiskanen, a game the action of Shifley and Miku Rantanen. And that's our entire box. 100 packs of Tim Hortons. NHL trading cards. Make sure you follow me on social media. I'm going to be giving away most of these codes as I've already built my online set. And uh, stay tuned for an insert recap. We're just going to recap all the inserts we got. We'll be right back. Beep. Boom. What's going on, you guys? Paraco Taco here with the insert recap. For these Tim Hortons hockey cards, we just opened up a hundred packs, and I just wanted to show you guys all the inserts that we got. So the red border parallels, we actually pulled 25 of them. So a quarter of that box was red border parallels. So let's go ahead and go through those. We got Eichel, Bennington, Gaudreau, Ben, Getzlav, Taves, Hart, McKinnon. Lundquist, Matthews, Bergeron, uh, Burns, Lucar, Ekblad, Doughty, Stahl, Subban, Pedersen, Crosby, McDavid, 
Larkin, Keller, Flurry, Barzal, and Stamkos. So there's your 25. So those land one in four packs. Another insert that lands one in four packs is the game day action inserts. And as a result, we also got 25 of these. So 50 inserts, half of them being red borders, half being game day action. Here they are. We got McDavid, another McDavid, Price, Besser, Shifley, Shifley, Chabot, Chabot, Gaudreau, Gaudreau, Tavares, Tavares, Taves, Pedersen, Matthews, Matthews, Line, Line, Ovechkin, Ovechkin, Stammer, McKinnon, McKinnon, Crosby, and Crosby. Okay, so let's move on to the highly decorated inserts. These are kind of like the platinum profiles they had before. We pulled 17 of these, all right? So Crosby, Kane, Price, Kopitar, uh, Keith, Keith, Doughty, Taves, Ovechkin, Quick, Chara, uh, Malkin, Malkin, uh, Thornton, Stamkos, Holtby, and McDavid. Pretty cool looking insert. Next up, we have the gold etchings, which we pulled 13 of, and I really like the look of the gold etchings. We got McDavid, McKinnon, McKinnon, Price, Kane, Gaudreau, Gaudreau, Pedersen, Line, Line, Ovechkin, Stamkos, and Crosby. Next up, decent amounts of these. We pulled eight of the clear cut phenoms. I think there's either 12 or 15 to collect. Not 100% sure right now off the top of my head. But we pulled Carter Hart, Jack Eichel, Mika Rantanen, Dylan Larkin, Patrick Laine, Elias Pedersen, Miro Heiskinen, and Brady Tichuk clear cuts. Um, so these uh, season events inserts, they're actually pretty hard to pull this year. They're just as hard as the clear cut phenoms. In previous years, these used to be pretty easy, but um, we got the China games with Jake DeBrusque on there. China games with Rask, Global Series with Heeshear, Global Series with Line, the Winter Classic with Bergeron. All-Star Game with Crosby, Stadium Series with Shiru, and another Stadium Series with Shiru. And last but not least, we have our Franchise Duos. We hit four of these. They land one in 24 packs, so we got our odds. We got Matthews and Tavares in our first, uh, which was our first Franchise Duos. And then we got Chabot and Tachuk for the Sens. I call in Dalin for the Sabres and Giroux and Hart for the Flyers. So this year there is 18 of those to collect versus the 12 that they had it had in previous years. So they've added six, so a bit harder to complete that. And um, that concludes our insert recap, which concludes our episode. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed that. And let me know in the comments section below if you're collecting this year's set and how you're doing with your sets so far um it's a bit more challenging this year there's those red borders more franchise duos to collect so some trades are bound to happen so drop a comment in the comment section below you guys i'd love to hear from you guys and until next time my friends peace out Hey, yo, I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in and watching that episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to check out another episode, just click one of those squares up above. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more cool content. And you can follow me on social media at Taco. Until next time, my friends, peace out.